Hey Riviera, Claire here. Today I'm gonna prepare a chidashi bowl. For this chidashi, we're actually gonna be using Pacific Bluefin Otoro. We're gonna be using Spot Prawns, uh, Bluefin Akami. Uh, this is a uh, true striped bass coming from Baja, as well as Salmon Belly, Caviar, and fresh wasabi. So go ahead and make yourself a giant pot of rice and transfer your rice to a bowl or a container if you're making a party size platter like we are here. The process is just gonna be, it could be messy, it could be sweet, but you know, all you do is just, just have fun. Okay, so we're gonna start off with our bluefin akami just beautiful color pop and a great place to start. I'll be using the whole length of my knife in order to create nice clean lines and if your knife gets a little bit sticky or if you find like it gets a little dirty go ahead and just wipe your knife off in between. I like to transfer all the sashimi using my blade and I just leave it directly on the rice. Next we're going to be cutting up our kompachi. This is also known as amberjack. It is a lean fish but has incredible fat content as you can see by the sheen here. Once you're done cutting your sashimi, you're gonna go ahead and transfer it directly onto the rice. Uh, this kompachi will just kinda tell you where it needs to live, I think, right now next to the akami. That looks great. All right, next up is otoro. Uh, for this one, you're gonna make sure your knife is incredibly sharp. Cut yourself maybe three or four slices. Um, in this case, we'll do maybe four or five because we have a larger party. Go ahead and wipe your knife in between each cut and you're going to have a nicer time cutting through. And we're going to go ahead and just transfer it directly onto the platter. This is a Oraking Salmon Belly. You're going to go ahead and cut this one up nice and thin. Give yourself a few slices depending on how many people are eating and go ahead and swipe it onto your knife and transfer it directly onto the rice in an open spot. Next up are spot prawns. To prepare these ones, we just like to cut it straight down the middle, about three-fourths the way, so we keep it completely intact. Um, this makes it a little bit easier to grab the rice underneath. And find the open spot and just place them in. So to garnish, we like to add a little bit of fresh wasabi. You can grate it and add it to any of your favorites. So right now we're going to do the spot prawns because they're a little bit sweet. So sweet and spicy, always delicious. And if you're feeling a little fancy, um, go ahead and just add caviar anywhere that you want to. Doesn't matter. It's up to you. You're being fancy. This dish can be made with any of our sashimi products. So you just need to get creative. Enjoy your chidashi.